everybody. It's Joanne. How's everybody doing? Um, welcome to 1000 Below. I am now at 9.05 the last time I checked. So, um, hopefully I can get to that 1000. If I do get to it, though, I won't be coming to you. Um, you know how we teach our kids? I'm going to change the subject here. Teach our kids to uh, fight against peer pressure. There's a thing called paint pressure. Um, for 1,000 below, we have the option to participate each month. And as most of you know, I came home from Vegas with COVID and I'm behind and I'm trying to catch up on all these collaborations and my own video times. And I'm going to tell on her, Perfections by Tracy. That's her name, Tracy. She peer pressured me into going ahead and doing this collaboration. And I did, I, you know, I was planning on doing it as soon as I got back, but I didn't get it done. And so now I don't have time to do the whole entire process. So, I'm going to show you a couple things, and uh, then we'll, we're going to do one of the processes. Um, we were, our, our, our challenge this month was to make a wooden box of some sort, a wooden item, and paint it, and do all the hoopla, and finish it and show you the end product so you could see the whole entire process. Um, anyway, I didn't get that done. But this is what I'm going for. Um, I have three grandchildren and I wanted to make three of these. And it's a beautiful round box. And this was made by Christina Welch. I bought it from her. The box comes from Hobby Lobby. So this gives you an idea, any wooden boxes you find or that you make, what you can do with them. But anyway, she did a bloom on the top and it's absolutely gorgeous. And then of course she taped back the back and she painted the back gold. She put resin on the top, so that means she taped up the back, and she probably put polyurethane on the outside. For the bottom, I think she painted it black, and then some polyurethane. On the inside is felt. She cut and glued felt. And then on the back, she put a round cork with her Christina Welch stamp. So, this is what I'm doing. Now with these, you can leave them as is. You can put a bead on top or a ball of some sort and make a lid top. You know, you can do so many things with them. But, they're just wonderful little boxes. And this sits on my end table in my living room. I just love it. It's beautiful. And I have one of the rectangles, which you'll probably see. I'm sure somebody's doing the rectangle one. That sits on the table between my husband and I, and we have all our remotes in it. And you know, you've got a ton of remotes. So anyway, let me get you down and let's get my top done, which I have. This is what they look like when you buy them. And they have a sticker on the bottom and when you take it off, you're gonna to wanna to sand it. And it does help to sand before painting. So it takes the, the paint better. Um, you can put like a coat, if you're gonna use house paint as your puddle, you can put a thin coat of house paint as your primer or gesso, or you can just do it. It, it doesn't matter, it works very well. And uh, 
but this is how it comes. So let me get you down and I'm gonna show you taping the back if we have time and painting the top. So let's go. Okay, we're gonna get this baby taped up. I wish I didn't have tape as wide, but that's life. I like, rather than leaving it one whole piece, I like to take it a piece at a time. So I'm not fighting it. But anyway, if you're familiar at all with um, taping round canvases, this won't be a problem. You just kind of follow the edge and keep moving the tape around so that it is nicely edged to protect the back. Because you don't want to have to go back and repaint the back and redo everything. Because then that risks you messing up the front. And then I'll press it down as I go. Okay, there you go. It's all taped. So I'm gonna use my PPG. And I don't need a really big puddle. Cause this should cover it. Yeah. Alright, this is the candy apple red with an Amsterdam red. There's a red deep, and I'm gonna, we're gonna make a bloom with it. This is Oasis, and these are primary elements. This is Fairy Wings and French Kiss mixed. Of course, this is the big favorite, Pineapple Crush. And I'm gonna put just a little around the edge, and I'm gonna put a little silver in the center. We're gonna do this one over. And there's probably enough paint on there. I'm just gonna go with it. Do not go over top your painting with anything when you're working on finishing it up. You do stupid stuff like I just did. So I'm gonna leave this in here. I'm gonna leave my comments in here. I'm not gonna edit it out so that everybody makes the same mistake sometime in their painting and you just you just gotta go with it and do it again if you have to. And that's what we're doing. All right, here's the cell activator. And where's my blower? We'll see what happens. Maybe prettier. can't believe I did that, and I can believe I did that. It's just 
a common mistake of trying to hurry and not paying attention. Alright, let's perk let that percolate a minute. Damn, it is pretty. Alright, that'll percolate while we spin it out. Beautiful. I believe I'm going to stop right there. Okay, here is our close-up. Now, you're not going to see the dry results, so this shininess is going to represent my resin. But look at the cells. And look at the glistening in there, the shimmer. You can see all the speckles of the oasis and the purple, which was fairy wings and French kiss. You can see the silver in the black cell activator. There's some of the, you can see a slight yellow right here of the pineapple crush and also right there and you can see some right there popping oh this is gorgeous absolutely beautiful so now what i will do i'll let this dry i'll let it set about a week it doesn't have to set as long as canvas does a week week and a half and while that's setting, I don't know where I put it. I put it away, out of the way. I will either stain or paint the bottom, polyurethane it, and then I will cut the felt to put in the bottom. And you can get the felt from uh, Amazon. And it's a sticky. You just pull the back off after you've cut it. And then I'll take care of the back of the lid and we will have it. So folks, thank you very much for joining me. Thanks Tracy for the peer pressure, paint peer pressure. <laughs> and guys, come back and see us. Love ya. Bye bye.